Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. At this very moment, North America is bracketed by six storms. Got uh, three hurricanes. There's Hurricane Jose, which is about to come up here and do a loop and affect the eastern uh, seaboard of the US. Got Hurricane Maria, which is coming into the uh, Caribbean. We've got Hurricane Otis, which is expected to loop around and be, stay out at sea in the Pacific. We've got Tropical Storm Norma, which is, uh, was threatening Baja, California, is expected to loop out. We've got Tropical Depression Lee, it's expected to peter out in a few days. And we've got a disturbance in the force here, as yet unnamed. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, the main things that will be in the news in the next few days with uh, namely Hurricane Jose and Hurricane Maria. First of all, the question is, uh, you know, what does the sock puppet think? What do you think of all these hurricanes? There you go. <laughs> we, we have our official answer from the sock puppet. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on. <clears throat> okay, so this is, if you just Google nhc.noaa, National Hurricane Center for the National Oceanographic and Adma Atmospheric Administration. This is what we have in the Pacific. So we have Otis, Category 2 at the moment. Uh, Norma is here, Tropical Storm Norma. There's a disturbance here, um, as yet unnamed. And if we click over here to the Atlantic, we have Jose here, which is category one at the moment. Maria strengthening as it goes through the Caribbean and Lee, which is expected to peter out. So if we go down here and we look at the, there's a lot of information. We can get the wind histories and things like that. Um, I'll just look at the warning cones right now. So these are the cones of so this storm, as time goes on, here's where we are right now with uh, Hurricane Jose, staying a hurricane all the way up here. Um, it, its path is expected to lie within this cone, and here's some of the areas that are expected to get high surf. So this is expected to loop around and loop out and hang out here. Now this is very important in terms of the interaction with the jet stream, because if this storm lingers and hangs around, it can cause a breakup of the ridge of the jet stream so that the next uh, hurricane that comes along Maria, if that ridge is broken, it can veer off and, and not affect the coast of the, of the U.S. If the ridge is strengthened further south or this storm goes away, then, then Maria has a much higher probability of, of hitting the U.S. coast. So let's have a look at some of these other ones. So this is Hurricane Jose. Okay, we can go down here. First of all, uh, we'll look at Maria. Okay, so this is a concern right now because it's expected, it's category one. It's expected to ramp up to a major storm here with winds greater than 110 miles an hour, reaching category three as it goes through this region. The water, the sea surface temperature is extremely warm here. This is the projected path from uh, from today uh, throughout the week and this is definitely a big a, a, a concern it's too far out to project further than this it really depends on what the jet streams are doing if there's a ridge here and this is guided up this way you know we could have another hit on the US um, if Jose stays around and creates a gap in the jet stream then Maria could veer up through that gap so it's definitely worth keeping a close eye on uh, this is Lee. Tropical Depression Lee is expected to start veering to the right and uh, weaken into a stay, you know, weaken into it's a tropical uh, depression, just in, and weaken and then peter out is the expected situation with, with that. 
Now, uh, in the eastern North Pacific, um, we have Norma, which is a tropical storm, and this is its path here. It's expected to um, weaken into a tropical depression and then kind of peter out, not really affect Baja California too much. And finally, we have Otis here. Okay, so Otis is expected, you know, it's major uh, winds right now. I believe it's uh, category two. It's expected to move northward and sort of do a sharp left turn and veer out here and not affect land. Okay, um, and then the disturbance, there's not a lot of information on the final one the disturbance here, 10% uh, chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours, just a trough of low pressure. Okay, so it's, and it's still far away from, from shore. Okay, so we've got all these guys here. Okay, so we've got Hurricane Jose, Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Otis, then we have Tropical Depression Lee, we have Tropical Storm Norma and we have a disturbance in the force here. So basically remember that storms are guided by the jet streams. What I'm looking at here is this is Earth Null School. Um, we're looking at um, a, a few meters above the surface and wind speeds. Now let's have a look at um, let's have a look at the jet streams first of all. So 250 millibar and uh, it's, it's loading up right now. Hopefully it does that without taking too much time. Da, 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 da. Okay, not uh, cooperating with me. Let's go back to the surface. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, click on Earth. Okay, so you can see what the jet streams are doing very wide here, very loopy, very wavy. Um, and a couple things, this is where Jose is right now. So this is why it's projected to go up here and start veering to the right. Okay, that's pretty clear unless this configuration changes. And here we have um, Maria is coming up this way. Okay, so if this configuration stays the same, it'll start veering up here, but it could be caught and pulled, you know, down. It's, it's basically coming along this path right now. Um, and um, so those are the key things I wanted to show you here. Let's have a look at the ocean. This is the waves here. So you can click here and you can see the waves here. Uh, about nine meters, which is 27 feet. I can click on meters here, 29, 8.8 .8 feet. So you can see the waves that are stirred up here. These are the waves from Maria, which is a tighter storm. Um, we can go sea surface temperatures. Okay, server down, why? Sea surface temperature anomaly. Okay, I had these working a few minutes ago. Uh, try it yourself, Google Earth Null School and have a look at these parameters. What is going on here? Uh, this is today, local time, um, ocean. Here, uh, here we go. The date is just offline right now. It was, up, it was working 10 minutes ago. So it's probably offline for you too, but go ahead and, and, and try it. Okay, so this is quite a picture, you know, North America bracketed by all, all of these storms. Okay, um, let's have a look at um, what's been written about this. This is from uh, Weather Underground. Maria threatens Leeward Islands. Jose Surf will batter the Northeast US beaches. So here's Jose, there's Maria heading this way. Um, so this is a very good you know, the problem with Maria is it's going to impact a lot of these storms, a lot of these islands, Caribbean islands, rather that were severely damaged by Irma. So this is not a good thing. Wind shear is light. Okay, remember wind shear, 
um, is the winds aloft at high elevations versus the winds lower down. If there's not much difference, uh, so wind shear is the wind going in different directions or at different speeds at different altitudes. And if the wind shear is, this is light, so that the storm is maintained. If it's heavy, it can knock the, the top off the storm and weaken the storm. Sea surface temperatures are warm, 84 to 85 Fahrenheit. Remember, anything over 80 and the storm will gain energy from the water. Relative humidity, mid-levels of the atmosphere are moderately moist. This is expected over very warm oceans. And uh, th these are the projected tracks of Maria from uh, the GFS ensemble forecast. So, so it's following the path of Irma a lot and hopefully it veers up and doesn't, you know, stays away from regions that Irma affected. Um, this is the European model from a lot more different runs. So there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, the US is not out of the woods. Um, the intensity forecast conditions are there for this thing to just amplify over the next number of days. This is uh, Hurricane Jose to skirt the US coast. Um, this is projected track, maybe loop around, maybe veer out to sea, depending on where it is when Maria comes up, its impact on the jet streams can affect Maria. Okay, Lee's on its last legs, and then here's Norma and Otis, and I showed you the tracks of those. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the uh, data. This is a very good um, there's a lot of links in this article, and I suggest that you click on a number of these links. And these are some of the things that you can look at. So you can run satellite images um, of in the visible, in the infrared, look at water vapor, for example. And you just click on it, and you can see these loops that are generated here. So this is showing the water vapor um, over time. This is Maria water vapor image, okay, um, and there's lots of other images that you can get, okay, so there's all kinds of satellite images you can get here, this is ssd.noaa.gov for Maria, okay, this is, um, this is wind shear, okay, what we're looking at, these are up, these are a number of different things, um, the, the upper level winds, Okay, uh, there's Florida here. You can lower level winds. Okay, you can see this. You can see Jose. You can see Maria here. This is wind shear. Okay, so the red numbers are fairly high. We've got 25, 30, 40. This is in knots, I believe. Okay, um, so this is where Jose is up in this region here. The wind shear is high, so she's not get, gaining. He's not gaining any strength. Maria is down here. Maria is going through this region. The wind shear is very low right now. Maria is gaining strength. If it comes too far down here, it will hit wind shear, very, very warm ocean temperatures. If it stays up and runs through the island, it'll be on the border between uh, higher wind shear and nominal. So it's gaining strength. It's gonna be a category three. You know, and you can look at various things uh, from this image. This is the ocean heat content. Okay, so this is, uh, the units are kilojoules per square centimeter of the surface area. So, so the warmer the ocean, the oceans are very warm here, so this not, these numbers are very high. The, the oceans are hot here, but not as warm as in here, so these numbers are a bit lower. So right now we're in, this, in the 70s for um, Maria. So Maria, this is plenty of energy for Maria to, to gain strength. Okay, ocean heat content. This is some contributions to intensity change, which is rather interesting. So this is moving, this is Maria going out um, six hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, and all of these factors are different parameters that are examined. The total change, the higher the positive number, the more strength that will be gained. And this is cumulative. So you can see this number continuously going up. So Maria will be gaining strength and it depends, there's all kinds of different factors like shears and vorticity spinning, divergence or convergence, steering level pressures, ocean heat content. There's things that add to the strength, there's things that take away from the strength. So we can look at the details of what the storm is doing 
and um, you know we can run various loops. This is just uh, from Twitter.